I don't have an N5222B, 22, so I'm going to run the VNA simulator with an N5222B as the model. And let's say the measurement is S21, for example, and this is fake data. Then you go to Cal, Smart Cal. It by default picks ports one and two. You leave everything as default. You come here. Let's say the dot is female, male. We will pick the 85052B. And here it says two port cal. It defaults to two port cal. And you can see it's nine steps. And that's because of the sliding load and low band load. So one is, this is a fake cal. So I can just go measure, open, short, low band load. And these are all the sliding load steps, which is kind of a pain because you have to keep moving it. And then you do the other side. Connect the two ports and let's save it as sliding load cal -offs. What I was suggesting is you, instead of an 85052B, you call it an 85052D, even though you're using your B cal kit. Um, the parts are essentially the same, the, including the most of it. So you do open, short, and here take the broadband load out of your kit. Your kit has both a low band load and broadband load. So make sure you pick the broadband load. And then you do again, open, short, broadband load, this. And now this is, for example, an 85052 D cal. So these are both two port cals and you can see here it says C two port. So cal all, let's add another channel. Let's say channel, channel two, channel three. What cal all does, you go to cal, other cal, cal all, it says I can calibrate all these three channels at once. And I'm going to say I don't need a power cal. Actually, let's do this is false. You want to set the power menu, power, let's say minus 10. Actually, for mechanical calculus, zero is fine. And let me go back to the 85052D here, make it male, female. So it now calibrates all these three channels once. So you don't have to connect the standards multiple times. So that's what is CalAll's benefit. And that's it.